Hey guys, so in this video, I'm gonna walk you through the process of uh, setting up your QuickBooks file under five minutes. So let's get started. Now, first of all, you're gonna go to qbo.intuit.com to find the right plan for you. Now, alternatively, I do have my affiliate link, which I'm gonna post in the description. You can use that. That link is gonna give you 30% off a first year. Uh, plus there is a 30 days free trial as well. So you don't have to use the link, but if you want the extra 30% off for first 12 months, then you could use the link. Okay, so I am using that link to set up the company file. Um, here are all the plans you're gonna see, regardless of which link you use. So go through all the features, which are listed here, based on your needs, sign up for the plan. Okay, so you're gonna click on try it free, enter your email address. It's gonna say this ID is taken. Yes, so if you already have QuickBooks ID, you're going to get that warning and then just click on sign in button. It gives you an option to do that. Uh, so then enter your email address again. And then the password. Okay, once you enter the password, it's going to ask you, what do you want to do? Do you want to choose the existing company or create a new company? I'm going to create a new company. Okay, I am in QuickBooks now. Let's start. Okay, your company, your business name. Uh, no, I was not using anything else. It's optional, business type, whatever your business type is. Uh, what's your role? Employees. Okay, I'm gonna skip all this for now. You don't have to set up any of this at this time. Okay, we are ready. Our file is ready to be used. Now we just have to change certain settings so we can actually use it uh, to do our accounting. So first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna click on a gear icon here on the top right. You're gonna go to account and settings. Now this is where you're gonna add your logo, uh, your company name, legal name, uh, industry, any of your company information you can you can uh, you can add in here. Uh, there are other settings too. Go through them one by one and uh, make the changes that you need to. Okay. Next up is going to be you're gonna set up your chart of accounts. So a chart of accounts is basically a list of accounts that you wanna see in your report. So for example, when you look at your PL report, balance sheet report, what do you wanna see on them? Uh, whatever you wanna see on them, those are the kind of names you're gonna put in the chart of accounts. So you'll click here, new, and you will add the new accounts. You will edit the existing names if you need to. Uh, and that's how you'll set up your chart of accounts. Next thing is you have to set up the products and services in QuickBooks that you wanna sell. So here's what you're gonna do. You're gonna click on gear icon and products and services, okay? You're gonna add an item, go through this process of setting up products and services that you wanna sell. Okay, next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna connect your bank account and credit card account to QuickBooks so QuickBooks can bring over the transactions into a placeholder for you so you don't have to do everything manually. So click on transactions and then bank transactions. Once you do that, click on connect account and go through the whole process. I do have another video on how to link your bank account uh, to QuickBooks. I will post the link to this, uh, the video in description, so go through it. Okay, so next thing you're gonna do is after connecting your bank and credit card account, you're gonna categorize all your incomes and expenses in here. Once that's done, you're gonna reconcile your account. You'll go to gear icon, uh, click on reconcile, get started. So you'll, you'll, pick a right, or you'll pick the right bank account or the credit card account that you're gonna reconcile. You'll enter the state and ending balance, ending date, and start reconciling. This is gonna go take you through the process of reconciling. Once that's done, you're gonna click on reports. And you can click on balance sheet, you can click on PL. Right now we don't have anything in here, uh, but you can customize. You can change the dates here. You can pick cash or accrual basis and run report here. This is how you would pull the reports and uh, that's it. I do have detailed videos and I'm going to post the links to those in description. So uh, if you need help with any of the bookkeeping tasks, uh, go through those videos. Good luck and happy accounting.